Jason swears that he's due for a big win. He's been taking losses all day in the casino, so he believes that he's destined to get the big payout now. He goes to the roulette wheel, knowing that he's bet black the last four times, so he goes all in on red. It lands black. Leo. Leo knows there's no such thing as luck, and that casino games are based on probability. He also knows that no matter which game he plays, he will not be favored to win in the long run. Leo doesn't gamble anymore, because he knows that he's putting himself in a position where he can never come out on top in the end. Today, we've got an eye-opening topic to discuss, five common gambling myths that keep people going back to the bet. Gambling's a subject surrounded by misconceptions, and I'm here to set the record straight. If you're someone who enjoys gambling, or maybe you're just curious about it, this video is gonna be a must watch for you. My name is Rob and I'm a recovering compulsive gambler. I made my last bet on November the 12th of 2022. And since then, I've made it my personal mission to spread the truth about gambling and gambling addiction so that you can be better informed about the reality of gambling. If you're interested in finding out the truth about what's happening behind the scenes in the gambling industry, then smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on the content that I release here. So let's dive right into these five myths about gambling that are keeping people playing and lighting their savings on fire. Our first myth is one that many people fall for, the idea of hot and cold streaks in gambling. You often hear stories of someone winning big after a series of losses or someone going on a terrible losing streak after a big win, but here's the truth. Each gambling event is completely independent. Where Jason would believe that after seeing a specific machine lose many times in a row, that it was bound to pay out a big win in the near future, Leo would understand that slot machines are just random number generators and that they're set to pay out a certain amount over millions of spins and that anything can happen in the short term, but it's more likely that he'd never see his money again if he put it in slot machines. Slot machines, card games, and other games of chance are based on random number generators. There's no cosmic force causing you to win or lose in a pattern. The outcome is purely random and each spin, shuffle, or roll has no connection with the one before it. Now, let's talk about myth number two the gambler's fallacy, which ties into our previous myth. This fallacy involves believing that past events influence future outcomes. For example, if a roulette wheel lands on black five times in a row, some might bet on red, assuming that it was due. Where Jason would see a slot machine where the proposed jackpot payout seemed really large, he'd think that it was bound to pop soon and provide a big win. Leo would see that same machine and know that the big number is really just a marketing tool of the casino and that the payout would be randomly triggered at some point with no bearing on what happens in the short term. In reality, the odds of the ball landing on black or red on a roulette wheel remain the same on each spin. The same goes with the odds of a seven being rolled in craps. The gambler's fallacy can lead to really poor decision making and of course, unnecessary financial losses. Remember, each spin is completely independent of the others and there is no such thing as hot or cold, as we mentioned before. Moving on to myth number three, betting systems. Have you ever come across strategies that promise to beat the odds, like the Martingale or Fibonacci systems? While these systems might seem logical, they're not foolproof by any means. And if they actually worked, the casino would simply not allow you to use them. Where Jason tells you that his sports bet is an absolute lock because this football team is the best in 37 degree weather with eight clouds in the sky on Thursdays. Leo would know that there's too much randomness within sports and in gambling in general to ever find a discernible and profitable pattern. All gambling games have a built-in house edge, which means that over time, the casino is going to come out ahead, no matter what. Betting systems might give you short-term wins, but so can randomly betting on whatever you see. In the long run, the mathematical odds catch up. Don't be fooled. There's no guaranteed way to beat the system. In fact, there's no way to beat the system at all. Myth number four revolves around the distinction between skill-based and chance-based games. Some people believe that if they're skilled in something like blackjack, then they have a better chance of winning than in games like slots. Where Jason watched the movie 21 and now thinks that he's a card counting machine, Leo is aware of the fact that if someone were to be card counting or doing anything that would take profits away from the casino, they'd be asked to leave the building, or at the very least, they'd be asked to stop playing blackjack. While skill does play a small role in certain games in reducing the house odds, it's essential to understand that the house still has an edge no matter what, or they wouldn't be multi-billion dollar companies. Even in skill-based games, the casino ensures that they make money in the long run. The fifth myth suggests that casinos have the power to manipulate the odds of their games in real time 
to control how much players win or lose. The idea is that casinos can make the games tighter or looser depending on factors such as the time of day, the number of players, or even a player's history with the casino. While Jason thinks that if he inserts a new player card into the slot machine, he'll be more likely to win big since the casino will want him to keep coming around. Leo knows that the slot machine is yet again a random number generator and that no matter what card goes into that machine, the house will always come out on top. In reality, casino games are designed with fixed odds that are determined by mathematical probability. These odds are carefully calculated to give the casino an overall advantage. Again, the house edge. This advantage ensures that over time, the casino will make a profit. The odds cannot be adjusted on the fly or based on external factors, nor do they need to be. The house is always going to win based on how the games are designed anyway. Regulated casinos are required to adhere to strict rules and regulations to ensure fairness and prevent manipulation of the game odds. Again, they don't have to cheat to beat you. It's important to approach gambling with a clear understanding of how it works. And if you're a gambling addict like me, who can't stop once you start, it's important to make sure not to make the first bet. If you're someone who isn't a gambling addict, please just stay safe. And remember that the odds are always stacked against you and that gambling is never going to be profitable in the long run. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that you think would benefit from what we talked about today. Keep learning about the reality of gambling and keep seeking to live a peaceful life one day at a time.